Hello everybody, this is Brisbane 05 Blast here and welcome back to another video of this channel. Today, I'm actually going to show you a pretty interesting rivalry that we are going to see here. And it's going to be a very stoke one, it's going to be a very good one, a ripper one actually. It's going to be Tottenham Hotspurs up against Arsenal, right here on the FC24 gameplay. So, Tottenham, I would say they're doing okay in, in terms of the points table. They're, I think, at currently in fifth, whereas Arsenal, on the other hand, <laughs> the coincident part is, I actually did Arsenal versus Liverpool gameplay. My first FC24 gameplay was Arsenal versus Liverpool. They lost in the game, but in real life, they completely destroyed Liverpool. Three goals to one. It was a comprehensive victory for Arsenal. And now they're closing the gap. They're like two points behind the table toppers Liverpool. Even though they're third place. Because Manchester City are second place because of their goal difference. But yeah, they're two points behind Liverpool. And they're in third place at the moment. They're starting to get back, you know, to their consistent form. But yeah, I really hope you enjoy this. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I've seen a lot of comments and many people are watching my previous videos. I really wanted to, to thank them for doing that because... It's really popular, so yeah. Because of the clashes, how it how it actually ended very well, and it did actually end well, so yeah. But other than that, hope you hope you enjoyed this one. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And with that, we're gonna start our FC twenty four gameplay, which is Tottenham Hotspurs up against Arsenal. Here we are, guys. We're in another Premier League match. Spurs versus Arsenal taking place in the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It has been a pretty good match here. These two teams have been hammer and tongs. Those two North London teams. We have Harry Kane. Hugh Min Son. Pierre-Emile Hoybier. Jeez, how many players are there? Look at, look at the player to watch. He's already 30. Position is forward and of course he's been dy dynamic here in terms of where he needs to pass, where he needs to shoot. This player is my is the player to watch here in my case. We might be expecting him to score more goals, but we don't know if he can either at least score one or at least provide you know many assists. We'll see. It's a pretty good match here, that's why I'm asking. And of course, our fans from Tottenham. Here are their starting 11. Juji Limo, Vicario starts, then Udogi, Van de Van, Romero and Poro starts for defenders. Madison Bissoma and Pierre-Emil Hoybier. The midfielders, Hyung Min Son, Harry Kane and Kulusevski. The forwards. And here are the subs for Spurs. And then Arsenal on the other hand. They have Aaron Ramsdale, Zinchenko, Gabriel, Saliba and White. The defenders, Declan Rice, Thomas Partey and Martin Odegaard as midfielders. Then Martinelli, Jesus and Bukayo Saka as the forwards. It's going to be Harry Kane versus Martin Odegaard. Who will be the successful one? Remember, Arsenal did get a huge loss to Liverpool in the previous match that was there. But can Arsenal win this one? We'll see about this. So let the match begin. Arsenal starts the ball. They start the kickoff. Tottenham are looking for their first touch of the ball, which they do eventually. And it's going to be Hyung Min Son who takes the ball. He has a lot of pace, a lot of space. I think we might see a goal from Spurs here, but what a good interception from, uh, from Arsenal here. And Bisoma takes it. But what I meant to say is that Arsenal, they have been pretty rough here. They've lost a match against Liverpool, their debut match on in this channel against Liverpool. And then they lost to Birmingham City, a surprise loss to Birmingham City in, F in FIFA 2003. On penalties. Well, that's because of the transfers. But can Arsenal do this? Here's Bukayo Saka. Saka to Martinelli. Martinelli to Odegaard. Can he score? He does! Martin Odegaard 
What a goal from him. You might have seen him score. He did score a banger against Liverpool. And he's the man to score for this one. But as you can see, what a pass from Bukayo Saka. Then a good pass from Martinelli. And then Odegaard with a good finish. The captain of Arsenal with a good finish. Just went too easy here. Spurs went too easy on Arsenal, the keeper. And Odegaard gives Arsenal the lead. They just scored in the 12th minute. Yes. Martin Odegaard is now the goal scorer. But look at Harry Kane. He just went through the Arsenal defenders. And what a chance that was from Spurs. But Ramsdale just manages to keep the ball from them. But it's still with Spurs. Kulusevski has it. He needs to find players here. He does, but finds Hoibier, Pierre Emil Hoibier. Hoibier to Pedro Poro. Poro. Poro tries to find Harry Kane. He does find Madison. Can he shoot? That was a worst one from Madison. That was not even a shot. Just tapped it into Aaron Ramsdale. All right, here's Martinelli. Martinelli with the ball passes it to Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus fights space. Can he go for a number two here for Arsenal? But he gets tackled. But the good thing is that it's going to be a corner kick here for Arsenal. That that means many people are scra- many people are scrambling here, especially Spurs mostly. But Arsenal are most likely going to get get their insurance goal if Spurs do not do well in their defense. What a pass. But of course, deflected. That's why I wasn't that surprised. Because I didn't say if this would be a goal. But wait, Spurs has it. And what a f- f- rainbow flick from James Madison. Wow. Madison still with Madison. The ball is still with Madison. Can he shoot from there? What a goal. I think Madison did the assist. But who scored it? It's Jungmin Son. What an assist from Madison, bamboozling Ramsdale, and Hugh Son with a wonderful finish. So Madison had the ball here. I think he did the assist. That was a pretty good one. And Hugh Son with a bicycle kick. Well, not exactly. Yeah, kinda. Yeah, it is exactly a bicycle kick. Hugh Son with a bicycle kick, bamboozling Aaron Ramsdale. And with that, we're in equalizing term. Hugh Midson gives Spurs the equalizer here. And Arsenal are really frustrated here, frustrated here to see how Aaron Ramsdale could not save that. He's like the Arsenal Onana here. The Onana of Arsenal. Because Onana is also the worst goalie for Manchester United. If you get Peter Schmeichel, he would easily save that. And now it's Hugh Midson. Still Hugh Midson. Hugh Midson. To still, still Hugh Midson. Can he go for number two for Spurs? He does, but Ramsdale with a good save. What a save from Ramsdale, but wait. We have a yellow card here from William Saliba with that hard tackle on Kulusevski. I think. No, it's on Harry Kane. Saliba did a high tackle on Kane. That was a rough one from him. They went on with the advantage, but it was right to book the player. We can't, we hardly could see the scoreline for Spurs because of the white background. Saliba already got the yellow card. Now it's with Jung Son. Still Jung Son. Madison, but he's offside. That was a weird pass from him. Son tried to find it, but Madison was, I think, offside. But he's been doing pretty well. He found an assist. Martinelli assisted Odegaard. And now Madison assisted Hugh Minson. Zinchenko has the ball. Passes it to Martinelli. Still Martinelli. Gabriel Martinelli, the Brazilian maestro. What can he do? Oh, just manages to save it from going out of the touchline. But it was anyway. Loses the possession of the ball. And now it's with Kulusevski. Spurs are looking to go 
and take the lead at the stroke of half time. Here's Pierre Emil Huibier, but Zinchenko tackles him. And Zinchenko just manages to protect it. Pate to Gabriel Jesus. Still Jesus. Still Gabriel Jesus. He has space. No one is marking him. That's horrible here from Spurs. But it doesn't matter because he bottled it. Gabriel Jesus or Jesus. But wait. That wasn't a bottle. He tried to shoot it. But Spurs defenders somehow got in the way and he deflected. So that means it's going to be a corner kick here from Arsenal. Martinelli will take the corner here. Could this be a goal here for Arsenal? No, it won't be. What a match it has been. It's not over yet. We're at one all. Look at the Spurs crowd. But as you can see, Hugh Son was the man that actually got the equaliser here for Spurs. If it wasn't for him, Arsenal would have actually led at half-time. Because of the skipper, Odegaard. And as you can see, the replay here. That was a wonderful pass from Bukayo Saka. Then to Martinelli. And then Odegaard with a wonderful finish. Bamboozling Vicario. And then after this, shortly after, Madison with a wonderful assist. And then Hugh Minson with a with a banger finish. Bicycle kick to equalize it. And then as you can see, we had another chance for Spurs. Hugh Minson would have actually gone for his second for his brace here. But Ramsdale denied it. And then Gabriel Jesus again tried to go for it. But a deflection from Spurs. We're at half time here. As you can see, Spurs won. They already got one goal and Arsenal got one goal. But the expected goals are from Arsenal. They made more passes. Dominated just on the possession. Recovery time, 12 seconds. Five shots. Five tackles. Spurs have won three tackles and five tackles they've attempted. And they also conceded an offside. So, yeah. All right. We're going to go to the second half here. So, we'll be right back here. Alright, Spurs will do the kickoff here. And as you can see, there are no changes at the moment because how close it is. And plus the CPU are managing it. So yeah. Madison. Still Madison. That's a that was a horrible one here from one of the Arsenal defenders. But somehow. Somehow they managed to defend it. And it's a Bisuma. Bisuma to Pierre Emil Huibierg. And now it's with Udogi. Udogi to Hoybier. Hoybier can go for his second. Second goal for Spurs. And they actually do. What a goal from Pierre-Emil Hoybier. He might be running to the coach for celebrating. He does. Hug Zange Postigoglu. And all his teammates. What a goal from... What a game-changing moment here from Spurs. Pierre-Emil Hoybier with a wonderful goal here. Arsenal. You've got to be kidding me. They really are bottlers. They lost to Liverpool. They even lost to a low-ranking team. And now they're probably going to lose to Spurs. But as you can see, the substitution here. Thomas Partey goes. And uh, one of the players come in here for... Yeah. Yeah, Partey goes. And Jorginho comes in. Now it's Gabriel Jesus with the ball. Still Gabriel Jesus to Martinelli. Still Martinelli, but yeah, there was Spurs. There's Pierre-Emil Hoibier to Poro. And it's back to Vicario. This is this is completely ballistic here from Arsenal. I'm I'm pretty sad here. But really gotta be neutral. But what was Arsenal doing? Teclan Rice. They passes it to Odegaard. Odegaard. Still Martin Odegaard. Martin Odegaard to Martinelli. Can Martinelli somehow shoot? Can he shoot? No, Vicario saves it. And it's going to be a throw in here for Arsenal. But what I was going to say is, why are Arsenal bottling this? That's pathetic. Anyways, Zinchenko goes and Hurian Timber comes in. But that's pathetic here from Arsenal. 
Now it's Bukayo Saka. Saka to Odegaard. Odegaard gets tackled by Van de Van. Kane, Harry Kane. Kane could actually go for a for a for insurance goal for Spurs if Arsenal somehow do not respond. If they do not respond here, this could be trouble here for Arsenal. They could be in serious trouble. But somehow, oh, it's with Spurs again. This could be a goal. Ramsdale, you better watch out, buddy. He's coming for you. But Arsenal defender somehow manages to get rid of it. And Odegaard takes it away. But Odegaard, he knows what to do. He's trying his best. It's only the keeper that is doing the worst for Arsenal. Now it's Martinelli with the ball. Can he somehow shoot? He doesn't because there were so many players over him. Oh, nah, too late. There were no one assisting. No one was like supporting. Van de Van has it. Pass it to Madison. James Madison to Harry Kane. Harry Kane. Kane, still Kane. Still Kane. Kane to Kulusevsky. Kulusevsky passes it back. Huyberg. Now to Pierre-Emil Huyberg. 77 minutes already. Gone. What a tackle here. And Ramsdale with a good save. But it's still with Spurs. Spurs are putting the pressure. But somehow it went off target. Luckily for Aaron Ramsdale. So it's Destiny Udogi that goes. Emerson Royal comes in for him. Benjamin White goes off. And Kieran Tierney comes in. Now it's Ramsdale. 10 minutes already left. And Arsenal are really not doing well. They got an early goal. But what are they doing? What are the Arsenal players doing? They're just bottling it like they did in, in last year or so. It's Kulusevsky. Kulusevsky, still Kulusevsky to Kane. Kane for the finish. That's it. That's game set and match. Harry Kane might have sealed the game for Spurs. What a win here for Spurs potentially. Rubbing the sore on Arsenal here. They cannot get a win in this video, unfortunately. The pain still goes for Arsenal. And with that, Harry Kane with the insurance goal gives Spurs a two-point lead. But really, Arsenal, I'm so disappointed at Arsenal mostly. They're doing pretty worst. Martinelli still has it. Martinelli to Odegaard. Can he somehow score a brace? He does. The game is not over. Odegaard somehow scores a brace. It's not over. Somehow Arsenal can score an equalizer with just three minutes to go. I would be surprised if Arsenal get this next one. Then this could be a huge comeback from a two-goal deficit in just six minutes to go. But Martin Odegaard with a brace can potentially give Arsenal a chance. Goal for Arsenal. Number eight, Martin Odegaard. But I'm pretty sure Spurs are killing time. They're not giving Arsenal a chance. Three more minutes to go. This can potentially... Yeah, I think Spurs... Kulusevsky with good pace. A minute to go. I think. Yup. It's a free kick. That's going to be a yellow card to Hurian Timber. A free kick might actually give Arsenal a very bad warning here. This is a worst one from Arsenal. They've get, conceded a lot of free kicks this game and they've potentially bottled this one and who's going to take the free kick it's potentially going to be a fourth goal here for Spurs it's going to be Hyungmin Son yep it is Hyungmin Son takes the free kick can he score can he somehow can Spurs somehow score in the buzzer this could be interesting if he actually does 
Pressure still on Son, even though his team have already won. We'll see if Son can somehow pr provide a buzzer. And that's it. Spurs are the winners for today's match. A disappointment for Arsenal and their supporters. Odegaard somehow scored his brace. And he's actually the only goal scorer here for Arsenal. No one actually contributed to Arsenal. And of course, give it to Harry Kane. He's the man of the match. He was the one that scored an insurance goal because they know it wasn't enough. That two-goal cushion was helpful for Spurs thanks to Harry Kane. And with that, Arsenal lose another match. Full time here. Spurs 3, Arsenal 2. And as you can see, I have already saw it in the first half, a goal from Odegaard, nothing much to say here. And a wonderful pass from Madison with a bicycle kick finish to Hume Son. Even though Odegaard scored his brace, the only man who scored a double wasn't enough. And Pierre-Emil Hoiberg, who gives Spurs the lead. And then after this, it was a pure finish from the masterclass of Harry Kane. Gave Spurs the lead by two points and that was it. And then a brace from Odegaard wasn't enough for Arsenal to win this one. Spurs wins this match three goals to two. That's all we have here for today. But Arsenal, somehow, how are they not winning against this team? I would be surprised because potentially my next video for Arsenal, I'm probably going to put Manchester City here. But we don't know. It depends. So as you can see, Spurs have dominated the shots. More expected goals, more passes, more tackles. They've won more tackles. They dominated the ball possession. It was all been Spurs in the second half. I really hope you enjoy this. And we'll be back for another FC24 gameplay. Goodbye. Hello guys, we're back and I seriously don't know what to say here for Arsenal. They've bottled it again. Three times in a row. Three videos in a row. They have lost against Liverpool. They have lost against Birmingham City. And now they lost to Spurs. Three goals to two. I mean, I seriously can't believe it with Arsenal. What are Arsenal's problems? They, I think it's with the goalie here. Aaron Ramsdale has really been their worst goalie for Arsenal. It's like Onana. Onana and Aaron Ramsdale. The, the worst goalies in the Premier League teams. Talk about Schmeichel and David Seaman. The best team. The best goalies in the past. Now it's Onana and... Ramsdale. I seriously can't believe it. But fair play from them. Spurs are the winners, as usual. They won two matches. Well, I think one match, I think Spurs played it in... They Their debut was in FIFA 2000... Uh, FIFA 2002. It was in the round of 16 against Manchester United. <coughs> Wherein this, wherein Roy Keane scored a brace. Roy Keane scored a brace against them, and that's how Spurs lost their first match. But then in FC Twenty Four gameplay, they won against Galatasaray. Now Arsenal. They're North London rivals. What a team! What a game that was. Three goals to two. Not bad for our. Not bad. The game wasn't pretty bad. But it's only Arsenal. Anyway, Spurs are the winners for today's match. Their goal scorers were Son, Pierre-Emil Hoiberg and Harry Kane. And for Arsenal, who would have thought? Odegaard was the, ma the man who actually kept Arsenal alive. No one contributed. It was all been Odegaard. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this. Please make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. And our next 
FIFA FC 24 gameplay. It's going to be Chelsea up against Borussia Dortmund. This match will be pretty good here. So really hope you enjoy this one. But I really hope you enjoy this. It's Brisbane 05 Blaster here. Signing off.